by drawing all the pieces that I was going to cut out and showing you guys how I was going to do this. So I did end up doing things a little bit different than what I planned, but I will explain later in the video. I got eight different fabrics. The amount of fabrics that you would need kind of varies on your size, so you might have to estimate how much you need. I used the loose t-shirt for the top part of the dress, and then I had the front side of the shirt inside and then tucked in the sleeve. And then I had it lined up on faux with the fabric, and then I left a lot of room when I'm cutting so I can have enough room for the seam. I did use a pattern for the back neckline so I can get that nice curve. Then I straighten out the shoulder line. For the front part, it's a little bit different from the back because I'm cutting two pieces so it can overlap just like in, uh, just like her dress in the movie. Just to let you guys know, I did film this a year ago, so I'm trying so hard not to cringe so much as I watch back and do this voiceover. I keep telling myself in the video that I'm doing this wrong, what are you doing? But I really wanted to show you guys how I made her cosplay, so if you're trying to make this, just let you know you can do it too. I made the top part to a crop top, but you can keep this part longer if you like. Uh, I did have problems where it was rising up um, above the dress, the skirt. So it, it's really up to you guys how you guys want to do it. And then I sewed the shoulder seams together. So here's the part where I kind of messed up on cutting the arpo. Uh, if I follow the line a little bit lower <laughs> than what I cut, uh, the armor will fit perfectly fine, but it was too tight for me, but it was uncomfortable, but it was okay. And then I went back to the dress form and pinned the side seams. And then I sewed it down. So in the picture, I realized that part of the top was going to be covered with the, uh, I guess the waistband or OB. So I figured that I can just cut off part of the fabric so it won't be too bulky. Next, I am ironing out the seam and I'm going to be doing a zigzag stitch on each side so the fabric won't fray. If you have a serger, that's even better. For the sleeve, I'm making like an L-shaped Tetris block. Um, the fabric I had left over was not enough to make the sleeves wider, so I did have like short sleeves. And you're going to be needing four pieces of the sleeve. For the neckband, I pretty much just cut out a long strip of fabric on fold and I, whatever left over I just cut off from the shirt. The way I did this was I had the, the shirt inside the collar so it would hide the raw edges and then I did a top stitch. And then I hid the bottom of the shirt. For the side of the shirt, I cut out the excess and then I also hid that too. Don't forget the sleeve. So for the ruffle part of the shirt, I cut out a long strip of tulle again and I did some gathers and hand stitch it so you won't see the top stitching. For the skirt part, I used the same length of the fabric which is a 54 inch and then I just made it as long as I uh, want the skirt to be and then I hemmed the bottom part. Mm -hmm. 
it kind of elastic that was nice and snug above a little bit above my natural waistline. Fold over enough fabric to cover the elastic fan. For the red part of the dress, I did the exact same thing for the pink part, but I made it shorter and then I drew it a diagonal line that was soft on my calves. Next hem the bun part and the top part. Then sew on top on the pink part. For the waistband, I cut out a piece of fabric that is long enough around my waist and I left a little bit for it to overlap. To make the red part of the waistband, I measure out the band and then I measure out 6 inches for the width and I'm going to fold this in half and then sew it and then turn it inside out so I have a nice clean long strip. The hairband is pretty simple to make. I did the exact same thing I did for the red part of the waistband. I just made it a lot smaller. This is how it looks like when you sew the red part into the waistband. Then I add hooks and eyes for the waistband. I made her jade necklace with beads I got from Sass. Using a dollar comb, I used it for her hair clip. And then I paint them with this pink from Walmart. Then I got these flowers from the dollar store too. It's not the greatest hair comb for Mulan, but it would do. This is the final look when you put it all together. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. And if you're following along to make this cosplay, I hope this is really helpful for you. If you're interested, I did make a Mulan makeup tutorial, which I will put the link below. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.